Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the uh, lunar full moon and Scorpio reading for the sign of Capricorn. I hope everyone is doing well and having a wonderful week. We're going to get right into this. This is a uh, general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. And you already know what to do if love shows up, reverse the roles as needed. Oh yeah, today is Cinco de Mayo. So happy Cinco de Mayo to anyone who celebrates that, that, uh, that holiday. Enjoy and be safe, you guys. And um, today is the day, the actual day of the full moon and the lunar eclipse. <clears throat> it's supposed to happen sometime this afternoon in the United States. Look it up for your local times, okay? If you're interested in that. The higher finish your overall energy, okay? There's going to be some communication going on during this time. The Capricorn Collective. What's going on with the Capricorn Collective? Those that have subscribed to the channel, those who like our videos and share our videos. Those that are um, divinely guided to our channel. And those that have subscribed. Thank you. <sighs> All right. We got Pisces energy. Hey, man. Let's get some more energies. Thank you. Nine of Cups. Page of Cups. Cups and the tower at the bottom of the deck. We got the Queen of Swords. Okay, somebody's cutting something off. Yeah, the Hangman. Why is this here for the Capricorn Collective? Why is the Hangman here for the Capricorn Collective? All right, now we got the Six of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. You're going to defeat somebody that's been coming for you. That's been, that's making you feel like you're bound. Or like you can't move forward from them. You're going to be successful in getting away from that energy. And move forward with the chariots or chariot or move away. And gain your uh, singleness again. Yeah. That's what's up. At least that's what you're praying about. Because that's clarifying that, um... Oh my goodness, because you, that, you're, that's clarifying the hangman, okay? The Nine of Cups, why is this here? Yeah, you're almost to your wish fulfillment. So you're just balancing yourself, okay, with the King of Cups. Good stuff. You're almost to your wish fulfillment. You ain't got time for that. All that drama. The Page of Cups, all them emotions, them, all them emotions and stuff getting in your way. The Page of Cups, why is this here? Okay. Yeah, it, you got the you got the ten of swords and the seven of wands. So is that some message that's going to come in? That's going to help you move forward. You're going to have some conversation because seven of wands talks about communicating. Okay, and it's gonna help you put an end to these, to this, uh, this pain and, and this energy that you've been stuck in. Let me look at that page of cups again. You guys know me with that page of cups. Me and that page of cups. Immature fair news message. That's what I'm thinking. It was a message coming in here. Somebody's coming back from the past. That's why I was thinking that this was supposed to be in the front. Somebody's coming back from the past. And you guys are going to communicate, but it's going to give you some clarity, and you're going to, 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 to still put it into it. There's not going to be any reconciling with this past energy. Maybe they might send you a, a, a message on um, online or a text message or something. 
Yeah, you're going to give them a, a, some simple dialogue, uh, some clear communication. I don't, I don't know. You're going to give them some communication. It's just going to be the end of it. Like, see, this like this lady is, is on the phone in here. See how she's on the phone? And it, it makes me, that's jumping at me. Like, this is the, it's going to hurt to talk to this person. But you're just, the whole time they're talking in your mind, you're like, yeah, this is over. Oh, shoot. I didn't think, I, I'm sorry, I didn't look up. The lady with the phone, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. And it's like, she's like, you know what, I'm done. Whole time they talking is just daggers because they're not saying what you want them to say. You know, what you wanted to hear from them. Yeah. So you're going to open up for dialogue when they contact you. But you're not, you're just, it's going to help with the nail in the coffin. Okay? Good stuff. Yeah. And they're going to be talking about getting back together. Hmm. The tower. Why is this here? Yeah, you're not having it. Definitely, that's going to be the catalyst to push you to your new beginning. I can't make it up. While you're sitting there, while they're talking about whatever that nonsense is that they're going to be talking to you about and not addressing you guys' issues, you, you're going you're, you're gonna to be releasing them during that call or text or whatever, however they communicate with you. That's going to be the catalyst to push you on to your new beginning. Capricorn, you can have whatever you want. Good stuff. Whatever you want, whatever you desire. Good stuff. So you're going to be dealing with your relationship this weekend. Yeah, it's just not working. You guys aren't meant, meant to be. Okay? So you just stand in your power. All right? Yes, Capricorn. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> for real. Yeah, y'all not compatible. It's time to love on yourself with this queen of, queen of uh, cups. It's time for you to love on yourself, Capricorn. This stuff. Yeah, ain't the ancestors watching over you, so you ain't got nothing to worry about anyway. Anything else for the Capricorn collection? Yeah. Yeah. Cut them off. Speak clearly and directly. And cut them off. And move on to your new beginning, Capricorn. I can't make it up. Yeah. That's what the card is saying. Yes, good stuff. Yeah, it's going to hurt. You're going to go through a little grief, but you don't stay in that too long because you got stuff to take care of. You feel me? You feel me? Your wish fulfillment. Balance yourself because you're almost there to your new beginning. <clears throat> Any advice for the Capricorn Collective? Any advice? Capricorn collective. I need space. Mm -hmm. Take time to think and gain clarity. Mm. I'll be so close to that camera. <laughs> you know, I used to be on the side of me and be way over there. And sex, sex, sex. Yeah. Desiring physical intimate connection, sacred energy exchange. Yeah. That's probably all the, that person was good for anyway. Or maybe you guys just had the best sessions ever. Mm. Capricorn Collective. See, you need to make a plan. You make your plans and stick with them. Making plans. Get organized. Have your ducks in a row before you make any moves. Yeah, make sure you do your healing is what this card is saying to me. Make sure you do your healing. Don't the birds sound so pretty? Okay. Uh, let's go get you some advice. From the African Goddess Rising. This is advice for the Capricorn Collective. This energy in this reading. Let me get some advice for the Capricorn. You actually already got your advice. You, it seems like you know exactly what you're doing anyway, Capricorn. This, this person been taking you through some changes. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I can't believe something came out. I was just about to put it up. Yeah, sacred lust. Mm-hmm. 
You enjoy it. We humans, that's what we do down here. God is Katesh. Yeah, maybe you could keep him on the side as a wham bam. I don't know. Nana Baluku. Yeah, seasons. This is about, this talks about how everyone is not meant to stay in your life. Sometimes they come just for a season, you guys. And gals, they come just for a season to teach you lessons. Capricorn, what have you learned? Thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tiger. Still, um, you guys, good luck with this. And uh, if you celebrate today, May the 5th, enjoy yourselves, be careful, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.